Alright, this power supply is bad. It's got a break in the cord right somewhere, I'm guessing, around. You know, I'm hooking up the leads here, measuring it on my voltmeter, and sometimes I read 19 volts, but I can't keep it. So, something wrong with this. Well, I know what's wrong. There's a, a break in it somewhere. And now before you make comments about why in the world would you fix this, I know, but a lot of people like to try. Or if you're desperate and you need it to work, it's quicker than finding a replacement that might take uh, some time to come in the mail or go to the store. This can actually be quicker. So let's give it a try. All right, here we are in voiceover. Now I'm cutting off all the plastic to find the part of the cable that's split. Either the copper wires are gonna be busted or the soldering is going to be disconnected. And that's where it was disconnected, one wire right on top. So I'm adding a little bit of solder to the top of the connector where it was disconnected. I stripped the wires. So the brown wire goes right on top. Just tack it back on. So usually it's broken copper wires, but this time it was a weak solder joint and sometimes it would attach and conduct the electricity and then other times it would be separate enough that it uh, showed no current. So now I'm just soldering the other wires together here and then I'm going to trim off the excess and clean it up and then uh, to seal it we'll use hot glue but before that I'm tying a knot in the cable that way it um, it won't it'll give it something to hold on to inside the hot glue you'll see otherwise it might rip the cables out again just uh, like it did last time so this is a good fix tie a knot in the cable and then we're going to seal it in hot glue you'll see that coming up and uh, I'm not going to worry about doing a pretty job. Just as long as it's uh, covered, it'll work. And to cool it down, you can either dip it in uh, ice water, that works pretty well, or the freezer. Waiting for this much hot glue to cool down without... Uh, adding cold temperature it takes quite a while actually longer than you think so now I hooked it up and I'm going to retest it insert one probe and uh, this is actually a 19 volt power supply that's what the reading says on the label and it's showing a 21.2 volt and if I wiggle it it doesn't fluctuate so it works